video we will discuss the procedure to exercise or actuate the three-way diverting valve in the Vito Den's 100E series boiler. So as you can see the diverting valve lives in the left side of the boiler. We'll actually talk about three ways to do this. So the first way, and probably the easiest way, will be accessing the actuator test. So I've re-highlighted the HMI here, and by pressing menu, I'm going to navigate to the service menu. So essentially settings, service, and actuator test. Now there are three submenus in the actuator test. All three of these contain the actuator test to move the diverting valve. So you can choose any one of the three. So I've highlighted three-way valve target position and simply by pressing the OK button I can toggle the valve or essentially actuate the valve between its three positions center, DHW, and heating. And in order to do this as, a, as an actuator exercise you want to do that several times. And Another point here, you want to make sure that you're listening, you want to make sure that you can hear the valve and the motor moving. Now, you may need to do a more aggressive exercise. And in that case, we'll refocus here on the three-way valve. And what we can do in this case is remove the head or the motor. So there are two screws that fasten the motor to the valve body. And this is not into wetted boiler components. So there's no need to drain water if we're just removing the actuator or the head. Now what I can do is just loosen these, kind of reset the motor, and then with the actuator test, I can move the valve to heating and you'll actually see the motor push out a little bit. So proof positive that the linkage is connected and that the valve is moving. At this point, if I want to do a more aggressive exercise of the valve body or the valve actuator, I can remove the motor from the stem. Now one thing to keep in mind here is the actual stem on the actuator has a, an opening and you'll see one side is open to accept the actual shaft, one side is closed. So on reassembly you kind of want to go in uh, favoring the open side so you can catch the actual shaft. And now with the motor removed, I can take just a pair of uh, small needle nose pliers, essentially just grab the shaft and exercise it back and forth. Now before removing the motor, I put the three-way valve in heating position, which would be all the way out. And I've proven that that is all the way out my, as my throw of the uh, needle nose pliers is just in towards the back. Once I actuate and exercise the movement of that, I can reassemble the motor. Again, just being aware of the fact that one side of the shaft is open. I wanna make sure I capture that. And good practice here would be set the motor and then actuate the valve to DHW. You'll actually see the motor pull in and then snug up your screws. The third thing we want to discuss would be actually removing the valve body for a more thorough cleaning. So I have a hydraulic assembly here for demonstration purposes. And this obviously would require draining the boiler. So previously we removed just these front two screws to remove the motor. Now in this case, if we wanted to actually clean and inspect what's going on in the valve body itself, we're going to remove these two fasteners. Again, the boiler has been drain for this procedure.
and removing the motor assembly we can see we have our seals here in this case we can inspect and clean those we can also now inspect and clean the actual valve body make sure that we have no uh, significant fouling or debris in there and then of course reassembly is reverse of removal thanks for watching